What it do guys? It's been about a year or two and it's almost brunch time. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. And you know, your boy's about to go install his, uh, his new uh, car part. So over these past two years, um, the car has changed significantly. So overall, I mean, after owning the car for some time, I can't say it enough like how much I enjoy this vehicle. It's extremely fun. But anyways, I'm gonna do some driving. So as of right now, the car is sitting on the stock exhaust with the aftermarket downpipe. And I currently have uh, a colder intake. I have an Arma Speed uh, colder intake and I have an Army Trix uh, downpipe. So right now I'm gonna go to my boy's house. We're gonna obviously install the goodies and I'm gonna let you guys hear how it sounds. I'm actually excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some before and after clips right now that I have the opportunity because once this thing's in the air, it's in the air. I know I still gotta go to the store and I gotta pick up some jack stands and some other equipment before I actually get with the install process. So as of right now, I'm just gonna let you guys hear for a little bit so you guys can compare the differences between uh, stock and uh, aftermarket. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a big difference. Um, when I show you guys the exhaust, which will be like here in a minute, you guys are, you're gonna see the expertise in this exhaust. I mean, it was a pretty penny, but hey, I mean, smiles for gallon, right? Damn, this light's taking forever. Come on. Damn. Vamos. There we go. Anyways, so I'm gonna get you guys a before and after. Let me put the windows down. Hopefully the camera can pick it up and my little microphone that I have. get as much as much of before and after as I can get right now before the new exhaust goes on oh, I just ruined it <laughs> anyways but that's exactly what we're doing today yeah I can't get over the noise that the car makes yeah. all right you guys so I'm about to pull up to my boy's house and I'll show you the exhaust once I'm there. All right, you guys, so I said, whatever, the hell with it. I traded the Supra, got myself a manual Acro. Full sand, let's see it, B-Tech and uh, Doge. Damn, it's been a minute since I've driven this. Damn, this guy behind me is tailgating me. <laughs> So I'm gonna go to the store really quick to go pick up these jack stands and then go from there. AutoZone, huh? Harbor uh, Freight. Oh, Harbor Freight? Yeah. Ah, shit. <laughs> All right, then it looks like we're going back to the right. All right, so Harbor Freight. Damn, it's been a minute since I've driven mad in the old. Yeah, I know you guys, I got a chick car because I'm not driving man Neil. It's all good. Although it's been tempting for me to trade in my uh, automatic Supra for the manual, but then part of me wants to look at that new G80 M3, but I mean, I'm not gonna lie, but BMW is really killing the game right now. I mean, like most people say, that's not a Supra, bro. Oh my god that's a bmw like we get it bro like shut your ass up like that's been said multiple times dang prius so turn signals so i'm gonna let you guys hear what vtech sounds like and doge <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> that was partying 
What does this shit? What does it say? What does it say monster. in the back? You're a monster. We well, look at here, Buckaroo. I'm a real monster. You hear this? Uh oh. Mopar and no car. Here we go. Oh no. It's gonna take off. When is this gonna pop B Tech? What do you mean pop B Tech? You mean engage into the second camshaft? Damn, bro, just downshifting this thing is fun. Yeah. That was a mid-shift. <laughs> having a lot of fun all right all right based on <laughs> i could already tell bro oh no i do miss a manual oh, damn i don't want my supra no more i want vtech that was the speed limit guys that was the speed limit is that right, Kilas? That's right. That's right. Hit it with the frajo. If it wasn't, that's because we're in Mexico. Exactly. We're in Mexico. Hermano cayó la ley. Right? That's right. <laughs> Damn. Hey, I don't even know if my microphone's on. <laughs> it's on, right? <laughs> yeah, it is, huh? That's, okay. that's blank, but I think it's on. For real? Uh, your thing is on, the blue light. No, this is blank. Yeah, the screen. Yeah. Oh, no. What's it supposed to say? It's supposed to show the audio. If it's pick it, it is picking up because I remember turning it on. What color is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be like reddish and green. Oh, I'm colorblind, remember? Oh. I can't see red. <laughs> <laughs> not well. So I guess it's working. All right. I see a little line. Oh, yeah, I think it work it's working, yeah. God damn. <laughs> That's a big one right there. Oh, Hijo de tu madre. Shit. Toma, wey! Chingue a tu madre, wey! What a tarnation. Saw that fool? Still gonna send it? I was gonna send it, but that fool pissed me off. That fool cut me off bad. It's six feet, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll only put it in reverse if it's, uh, you know, R for uh, race mode. Uh, that's right. All right, so so we need like a low friendly jack, or what do we need? Uh, like the jack stands, which ones do we need? It's the triangle ones, you'll see it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, my brakes are so worn out. So, are they? Uh, yeah, they're gonna vibrate once you get them hot. They're off about the And what if we just can't brake no more? <laughs> we just what? We can't just we can't break anymore. What no, we, we can't. But uh, you're just gonna feel a lot of vibration. Huh? They're all, they're warped really bad. Ah. Does that say student driving? Yeah. That don't look like a student to me. Me Mattel. Oh God. We got ourselves uh, we got ourselves a little Dominic Toretto behind us. Toretto, stop right there. You know what? I want the smoke with everyone. I want the smoke right now. Right here, Carlos. This Jeep. Damn. Aw, oh, come on, bro. Uh, little Hondita. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this one right here. Look at this white one right here. Look, look, look. Look at this one take off. Damn. Look, 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 look. That one's fast, That's right, for sure. Right. Type, type S, type sport. You gotta break early, man. You break. Oh. Is this a K tune shifter? Yeah. Oh, this thing is nice, bro. I know this one, Acuity or Acuity. I had that one in my SI, and then um. 
The K Tune, I think the K Tune one is, it's, I don't know. I mean, that one's great. This one's fantastic. The Curity one is fantastic too. I just, I've, I've been driving with both of them. And I don't know, I, find, I feel like I kind of like the K Tune one a little more. I like the way it looks too. I like the theme of the Acuity too, but I just feel like, oh shit. I just feel like this one, this one feels a little bit, you know, a little bit more uh, uh, like higher, like premium. Up there after you, dude. Oh, yeah, damn. Premium. Well, it's good it was nice right knowing you. GG's. Damn, oh. Okay, ride. Uh oh. Don't look at me. Damn, that's company gas right there for you. God. Yeah, she was cute. She was, huh? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be saying that. Oh, we damn. Oh, well. No, I'm just kidding, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna cut anything. I'm being myself. This is me. Take it or leave it. That might see my llanta. No, que my cook. I do like the way the new Civics look, bro. Yeah, they look better than the previous type. Yeah, I feel like the new Type R looks like a mature, uh, like a mature Civic. Like the 10th gen was cool and all, but I just feel like it looked, there was too much going on, yeah. you know? What is that, I feel like already? This is like 11th, yeah. Damn. Student driver, come on! But yeah, that's this is a, they like, we're in the 11th, 11th generation already. Okay, compas, so the car is already, up on all four points it was a pain in the ass just to get this car up man you guys don't want to know so i don't even want to share the experience but it was an experience so for me to install this exhaust oh by the way this is what it looks like a full titanium exhaust uh the brand is by uh, made motorsports so huge shout out to my boys over there at a90 shop and made motorsports this right here is absolutely fantastic man like you can't even tell that it weighs, ah, shit, that's hot. But you can't even tell that it weighs anything. The welding on it is just perfect. And then the 5.5 inch tip girth. You would have else, but it Damn! Oh, pitudo, huh? <laughs> so, for me to be able to fit that tip on this car, I'm gonna have to do some trimming. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to trim a little bit of the fuser right here, just so I could fit the 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 5.5 inches of girth on this diffuser. And the right, Kilas. That's right. In other words, you gotta stretch out the no, hole no, before you put in the girth. Oh no! But yeah, that's gotta happen. So as soon as we get this off, I'm gonna let you guys know, and we'll hear how it sounds then. Are oh, you recording? Okay. So make sure before you start this whole endeavor, make sure you have your proper training. You know, you want to get certified. You want to make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Hey guys, Chris Fix here. And today I'm going to show you how to install an aftermarket exhaust system with common hand tools so that you can easily do this at home in your driveway with no lift. <laughs> this shit hot. You get a glove. Hell no. Nah. Okay. Where are you going? Go this way. Oh, oh no. It's over here. Oh. My fault. Yeah, give it a brain. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. Bonk. <laughs> go to bonk jail. Go to honey jail. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, hey guys, we're professionals. Come on, guys, make her kiss me. Oh my god, hose gonna be hose. So it goes this piece. Flip it. Amen. Turn on. Okay, there you go. Ta-da! Alright, solid. Alright, guys. I'm gonna turn it on in sport mode. Okay. Oh, shit. On German mode. Here we go. Like the sacrificed souls came out of the pipe where they 
that's about this young man. That was the deadness. <laughs> There we go. All right, regular. Guys, so the exhaust is officially on. I'm gonna get you some clips. See how it sounds. Holy damn! Sounds really, really, really like. How do I explain it? It has a really deep tone to it. Holy crap! Like it really sounds. Like it doesn't drone too bad it's like perfect so this is sport mode right now so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in normal comfort mode see how it sounds so seven and then eight you don't even really hear it oh this sounds fantastic <laughs> Oof. Oof. Okay, so I'm a bust. Quick little U-turn in Mexico. So this sounds clean. So before I go, I want to show you exactly what helped me jack my vehicle up. You know, just for anyone that has this vehicle and that's going to jack up the car. So I purchased uh, these uh, jack pad applicators. So this right here is from uh, BurgerTuning.com. You can get like a set of four for like 85 bucks. To uh, I think it was like, yeah, like with tax and everything, it was like $85. So definitely worth the investment because let me tell you these when i was going up on all four corners it was definitely helping me out for sure so if you own this car i would definitely make the investment on this for sure for sure but all right guys so that pretty much sums up the video right before i go i'm gonna do a little first first gear pull here we go Sounds really nice. Oh yeah. Definitely worth the investment, you guys. Oof. Well, that pretty much sums up my video for today, guys. Hopefully you guys gonna make the same financial mistake. <laughs> you guys take care. Toma.